hello peoples hello if you're there sometimes it's hard to get this, to meet this one. right hello welcome um i hope you can hear me uh let's see if we are boom perfect timing hello uh, right um we're live hello welcome um i thought what i would do is not only i've got in my bag so i've got my bag which we're going to talk about because this sunday i'm actually playing in a tournament i play in one tournament a year with a good friend right and um they um, invite me to a pro-am. It's the Exeter Pro-Am. I've played in it before. I've actually got a video here. I'll see if I can post a link. Um, how do I post links on here? I'm going to post it in the chat, actually. Let me post a link in thy chat. There we go. Um, and um, basically, I don't know if you're getting that in the chat, actually. Let me see if I can post a link another way. Um, chat. Bear with, not so good about a producer. <laughs> um, I'll see if it comes up in the link actually, it comes up. But if you search Mark Crossfield Game Golf Exeter Pram, so what's going to happen, I'm going to gain golf my round, Buzzer's playing as, as well, um, and also Kevin Harper's playing. James Pickard was meant to be playing, but he's hurt his back, so he is now not playing, which is a real shame. So between the three stroke four of us, so James was default lost, so he has the wooden spoon because he's not made it through the um, fitness uh, test. James Pickard, come on, if he's not on another fairway, he's holding his back, isn't he? Come on, James, man up. Um, so what happens? Um, he's lost, so it's between me harper and buzzer so come on let's hear it who's going to shoot the lowest score i know what my answer is between me buzzer and harper who do you think who's going to win uh can you hear me is there sound guys are you getting sound one guy saying he doesn't get sound um let's see if anyone's going do you miss competitive, do you miss competitive uh, golf mark i don't really i don't miss it pick up my back um i don't Miss it? No. That's a, uh, a question coming from the chat. Um, Harper from Chris Jones. There you go. You can hear me. Yeah, Picks. Picks isn't playing, so he's lost. Harper. Uh, get rid of the play. Harper. Yes, Chris Jones can hear me. Great. Thanks, Chris. Um, yes, sound good. Buzzer. Okay. Easy one. Harper. Yeah, right. So we've had a buzzer and lots of Harpers. Uh, sound is good. Cool. Um, anyone gonna say coach coach isn't playing uh turn the volume up one buzzer two uh, one cross field two buzzer three harper correct t white thank you very much the first cross field winner now cross my field tom frost indeed where is gorilla james can anyone in chat answer that i'm getting slightly bored of answering that question over and over and over again he's in the gym rest in peace gorilla uh the spider on the wall that's not a spider it's like a little tack you're thinking that thing there um harper yeah my money is on harper he's a full-timer buzz is a semi full-timer so he should come second i haven't hit a ball for three weeks and play twice a month um so yeah they should beat me easily those boys but it's all a bit of fun um so we will see i'll game golf and then i'll present how i played i'll talk to you about how i played you can look at my last round from last year like i say if you search mark crossfield game golf exit a pro-am on youtube that's my round i was going really well actually i was two or three under after 12 holes and then kind of hit three wild shots which cost me uh that hat in the background looks pretty cool that is a cool panama hat from ecuador yes my please so we're gonna have a little competition as well tonight so stay tuned uh taylor my aid this hat taylor made sent me this hat they're doing their promotion for their new driver that's coming out oh, you all know what the name is um so they're missing out the m out of everything because obviously it's part of their um 
marketing campaign so i've done my own one taylor my aid which i actually think is really funny and fun to be honest taylor my aid <laughs> Um, so we're going to have, a, if anyone wants to win this, I will tell you what the competition is about as we get going. So um, Mark, link doesn't post in the chat. No, okay, uh, Jonathan, just search. I'll type it. If you search this on YouTube for the chatters here, Mark Russell Game Golf Exeter Pro-Am. Search that. Uh, and you will see it. Link your lazy bums. Watch. I think someone's found it. Um, but if you search what I've written in the link there, guys, uh, on the chat in um, in uh, on YouTube, um, you can um, find the video and watch it. Right. I'm just going to get Periscope going as well. Just bear with me. Um, so we're going to live everything. They're going to get a little snippet of it. Um, Taylor, my hat. That's awesome. I hate it. I was trying to help the others. Okay. Spider on wall. It's not a spider on the wall, people. It's not a spider on the wall. Um, so I'm going to call this Periscope Taylor, my aid. Hello Periscope, say hello to YouTube Periscope, YouTube say hello to Periscope, hello. We're just about to do what's in my bags, so anyone on Twitter or on Periscope watching, come over to YouTube, the link is on Twitter, I will post another link to it now on Twitter, Just I'm just going to post live feed, me, oh, me up. There we go. If you want to hit that link, come and join us on this live feed. If you want to see what's going to be in my bag for the mega match, um, I cannot come in on YouTube. Are you signed in, Carl? You need to be signed in. Social media overload, yeah. Uh, lunchtime. Okay, Taylor my aid. <laughs> the hat doesn't match your top. I know, but I quite like my green one. Hello, Guru. Puma, hello. So head over to YouTube. I'll go on the Twitter, see that um, link I put. Come over, join the chat uh, on YouTube. See you all soon. Uh, Periscope is just about to do what's in my bag. All right, the Periscopers are coming, peoples. Wolf Spider versus Cat Fox. What's in your bag? Don't like to talk about it. Right, let's go with what's in my bag. So we're going to start with a putter. So lovely. I love my head cover look. I got given this. Um, it's an Odyssey head cover, and I think it was around an open special one from 2014. Um, I do love my head cover. Um, so that goes on. So it's an Odyssey head cover because I had a ping one on it, um, but Odyssey got a little upset when I went to one of their days that I asked, they gave me that one. <laughs> I do quite like it. So I've got the Odyssey Versa 9. And obviously it's white and black, or I don't know if it's black and white, because it comes in, you can get this bit black, white, black. So this is the white and black, I guess, but I don't particularly know. Um, it's very toe-hangy, which some people don't like, so the coach doesn't like it particularly for that reason. I like the old insert. I'm not so fussed or keen on the new insert. I just love the look of this putter. It reminds me of an old bladed putter I used to use when I was younger. Um, so I almost see it without those bits in my head uh, there. That's kind of what I see when I look down. Obviously, I see it all, but that's the kind of vision I've got of those two lines moving. Um, yeah, I really love this putter. I have some good days with it. I see lines, and I've got my little yardage written on the old uh, neck there, which people seem to like. So that's my putter, Odyssey Versa 9. Have the same putter of you, Oliver. Thank you. Kill my buzz. Okay. Blimey, Mark Crossfield TV. <laughs> so let's go to wedges. 60 degree wedge in my bag. All got the game golf bits at the top. Um, I'm using a 60 degree PM Pimp My Grind Callaway. Is this wedge looking at me? Wedge. I love this wedge. I do like the high toe. I think that's really clever. I like the large head of it. It's just, I'm just enjoying its quirkiness, to be honest. Matt's done a little bit of grinding on the bottom of his. I haven't. I just take the grind as it is. He does chip better than me there. Oh, I'm dropping all mud on my computer there. Um, so it's the Callaway PM Grind 60, 10 degrees bounce. 
Then I go to two wedges in a 56 MPT5. Um, 14 bounce, a heavy bounce in that one, bunkers and what have you. And then a 52 9 degree bounce MT, T, MPT5 Mizuno wedges. I like these. I like the little shape of them. I'd easily have the 60 in there. Actually, I contemplate putting it in, but I'm just loving the I am Phil ones at the moment. Um, so I'm loving uh, these two. My wedge player's got a little bit better. Not great, but a little bit player in the last video. It's part from very poor pitch um but my game is feeling okay-ish well last time i played three weeks ago so that's my wedges if we go to my iron so from pitching wedge up to five iron so i don't carry a four iron anymore uh, again golf showed me that my 200 yard yardage was one of my weakest points in my game so i changed my four iron out for a couple of rescues down the line which we'll come to in a second so i stop at a five iron and I've got the MPH5s at the moment, which I really am enjoying. Um, lots of people have been asking why I've gone to these from JPX EZs. There's a couple of reasons, really, which we'll talk about. I've got KBS Tor, what have I got? Tabia, KBS Tor C Taper Lights in here in a stiff. I actually don't care what I've got. That's just what they came with, and they feel fine. In an iron and in a driver, shaft or it all you like, it's not going to make much difference. Certainly in nine to five iron, the way I'm hitting the ball. Um, Mizuno, my wedge, self, my tight. <laughs> That's my working shelves with my camera stuff on there. Um, so, yeah, H5s, nine to five iron, really liking them. Now, the reason I went for these is I wanted to go back to a little less offset overdrawing a few irons so i just wanted to take a little bit of offset off didn't make any difference really to my data it just gave me a feel down at the ball which i preferred from old kind of visions of when i used to play um also the spin numbers on this club subject to where the cg is being a fraction higher than the game improvement mizuno uh, ez's is a little bit higher so that means I get a little bit more spin. And what it does is I'm finding I actually get the ball stopping on the greens and even coming back a little bit, where EZs, I would always get them stopping and then just rolling out maybe two to five yards. Not a problem. I just enjoy having I When I pick a yardage, I'm kind of trying to slam dunk it in the hole in my head, subject to where the slopes are, what have you. So I want a ball to stop and almost come back towards me. I don't want it rolling on. So that was another small reason. Now, that's not a reason that's going to make me particularly a bit uh, like a better player overnight but the less offset just the visual was helping me and what I had in my mind at the time and I also like the slightly high spin numbers that these gave me subject purely to where that um, center of gravity is basically it's a bit lower on a JPX EZ always there to try and push the ball up in the air what that does for me I'm hitting above that CG uh, a lot so it's taking spin off with vertical gearing CG on these clubs, I imagine, would be slightly low. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm pretty sure they are. And I'm hitting above the CG, um, sorry, or at the CG, and even below it a little bit sometimes, sorry, which is then going to add a bit of spin uh, in theory. So there's my irons. Then if we go to the two rescues in the bag, so I've got a Ping G30 Rink My Dinks, Yard My Slam Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> move on okay uh how long till mega match stuff needs to eat don't get that uh green and blue horrendous fashion okay thank you what trophy is that it's a big trophy it's one of my old trophies um he can talk for england lewis beer thank you yes i have entered the olympics for talking for uk um so this is the ping g25 hybrid rink my dink 23 degrees so this is what i have instead of my four iron this is around well i can get this club going from 170 up to 210 a push um so i play this club i'll actually play this club more than a five iron if i can it's one of my favorite clubs I've always played my best golf. I used to be a five wood back in the day when I wasn't hitting long irons. I was hitting kind of funked up hybrid spent five woods into green. So that is my 23 ping uh, G25. So the old one. I just like the shape of it. So I have my hole in one with this one. Don't like to talk about it. Torrey Pines, uh, 16th hole. 
when bouncing in, yes please, don't like to talk about it, a bit embarrassing, I rink my dinks in, thank you, none of the others are bad holy ones, the Torrey Pines, you know, your Twit Chards and your Harpers and your Buzzers and your Lockies, rink my dink, um, they haven't had holy ones at Torrey Pines, they've not even played at Torrey Pines, but let's move on because I don't like to talk about that holy one, there's videos of it on YouTube, just search Torrey Pines videos, watch me holding my arm, I'm 16, uh, but it's a bit embarrassing. Um, so the second one is a 7 degree, 17 degree 2 hybrid, and I, I'm in and out of loving this club and hating it, I love the Ping G footy, I love the club, I'm just not sure if the loft is perfect still for me, I don't get to play enough, you know, there can be three rounds, which is almost two to three months, of me not hitting it because it doesn't hit that distance um i just don't get that distance that it hits and then when i pull it a bit when i get it out of the bag i don't really know what i'm going to do with it so much so this is one i don't kind of relish hitting i kind of don't fear it but i'd rather hit my 23 uh, where i know if i was playing a lot i would hit it a lot more in situation i would build up that kind of database with it. so it's a 17 ping g30 so the slightly more modern version, interesting, isn't it? Everyone's always looking for that next review, the new review. I always think that one's quite interesting. Guys, the clubs don't change from year in, year out. The marketing gets as big and hypey as possible to get your dollars and pounds out of your pockets. But these clubs, they're all built to the same tolerances, people. There are some slight variations. Don't always have to run to the new one. He says, just about to contradict himself, because he now uses the great big bird for new free wood. <laughs> um, I've got this set down one degree down from 15, down at 40 degrees. Um, just gives me a slightly better ball flight. Anyone who watched the video that I did with this club, it, um, it, didn't, it didn't go too high and it span a fraction too much. So I just knocked off a little bit of loft, put the spin a fraction down and gave me the distance I want. I can get it at 240, really jump on it. I could get it up to 250 with some roll um and comfortably getting over to 220 carry in theory with that one so i'm really liking that one all you shaft people out there it's a cura cage 50 gram stiff shaft i think just standard stand stock my shaft um standard grip i'm not grips don't really like my lemon that much um i'm really liking this i feel very comfortable with this i grew up using callaway fairways and drivers um and i'm really liking that i like the little head cover as well it's quite easy to put on when you've got the camera on in the other hand it's quite right like... right and then moving up to the big stick i am using and been using for a while now the mizuno jpx 850 driver pierce my blue Yummy, yummy. I just really like to look at this. I've got it set down at 9.5 degrees on the changeable neck here. Um, I've got the weight set in the back, which is trying to increase MOI to its max. I found only a 300 revs change between the low spin to the kind of um, higher MOI positioning of the weight. Any weight pulled back off the face is always going to increase MOI. So help with ball speeds across that face. A little bit with direction from twists, but mainly ball speeds across that face, I would say. Um, I don't see the point for 300 revs, which my strike's going to move it 1,000. I just don't see the point at the moment. I, might as well, I just like the stability of this. And I'm hitting this one really, really well. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. This is going to stay in the bag indefinitely, really, unless I just, you know, new ones come out because they're readily available for me. I like trying them. There was a point to start of the year as well, which I thought was quite interesting, that we really picked up on. I, um, I used nearly every driver I could. I just went different driver every vlog. I was doing that just to try and show you guys that it makes such little difference to actual performance. The biggest thing that was affecting my performance was me, not the club that I was using. Uh, I'm settling on one now. I've always been particularly a person who would, I never really changed clubs when I was a player. Um, I would use the same clubs for season after season after season after season. Literally be a confidence thing more than anything kind of tech based thing. Like the companies always try and tell you it is. I, you know, if I was playing seriously, I could see this driver staying in the bag for a long time. So there's my clubs, guys. That is my clubs. Got a few extra little bits. Um, obviously, I've got my game golf which is what's going to give us the stats for the video when I show you how bad my round is. <laughs> um, yes, my please us. Uh, so that's in the bag as well. Loving my game golf. Uh, loving the stats it's given me. And then we'll need to make some fun content as well. 
Uh, I've got my new Puma gloves, which I'm quite enjoying. Quite like these, even so they're leather on the bit that's holding the club top bit. Um, there's some unlevered pads. But I like the fact it's got that Puma sign up there. It's quite fun, isn't it? Um, but they feel nice and soft. I didn't think I'd ever be able to wear another glove, but uh, I'm enjoying the Puma gloves quite a lot. I mean, leather is as leather does, isn't it? Um, that's my glove. And then if we just spin my bag around, we're going to go... Um, I've got one in here. Sun cream in my bag. Don't going to need that. <laughs> Uh, I've got a ball in here. Uh, yeah, I've got, uh, this is an old one, but I'll put new ones in. Titleist 1, AGG, Ask Old Guru, I write on them. That one's been used. Pro V1, my X. Uh, that's the ball I'll be using. Other things of note, which I like in my bag. Let's see if I can find some here. These are always fun. Back to camera. I'm going to get a few of my ball markers out to show you. Everyone likes a good old perv on a ball marker, don't they, a little bit? Um, I've got, actually, which is quite unique in my bag. I haven't pulled one of these out. I'm going to need this. Uh, I've got one of those, which I'll show you as well. Uh, uh, this is riveting stuff, guys. I'm sorry. Back to the camera. I'm just going to show I've got quite a nice array of Things here which I thought I would show you. There are they are. Got some money in my bag. We're gonna do the giveaway on the hat in a second. Let me think of a little game. Anyone on the chat want to think of a little game? Uh, I don't think I can buy them all. There you go. There's some. I've got some nice array of ball markers. Oceanico, Minellium. I never say that one though, do I? That one gets pulled sometimes. Uh, Villamora, I've got a lovely The Lodge at the Prince's ball marker. That's a fantastic golf course. I've got two nice, I've got my bucket Odyssey ball marker, heavy um, ball marker, quite a big one. Um, and then I've got my Innovate or Die one, which I like. I always like to try and keep ideas fresh and new and then the one that um, always I pull as much as possible yes please my master's one my heart will break if that one will be ever going ah uh, will you be filming the pro-am as a vlog I won't be it will be more of a review because I'm playing with people who don't want me filming um, as we go around I've got my pitchfork pair with a little um, mark on it as well, Masters one, and then I've got one of these, I haven't played with one of these in my pockets once a year basically, so I've got a sawgrass one here, I think, Country Club, Pencil, anyone gets a chance to play sawgrass, so Stadium's the one you will watch, the Country Club, I would say is a harder course, it's just insanely tough, we played it on a windy day, um, and it's got lakes everywhere, so you're literally starting the ball out in the lake, trying to bring it back on the wind. It was one of the toughest courses I think I've ever played in my life. So there we go. Um, let's go. Who wants to win this hat? If you want to win this hat, what can we do? What you're going to need to do is guess my score. The par Exeter Golf and Country Club, I think, is 69. You can search it up. Search Exeter Golf and Country Club. Um, <laughs> is the Pro-Am on TV? No, it should be. Um, Taylor, my, if you want to win this hat, if you guess my score, the first person I see to guess my score will win my aid hat. Taylor, my made hat. If you want to win this hat, Guess my score in the program. Now, the first one I see on Twitter will win it. And I mean the first, not the first one who posts the correct score, the first one who guess, oh, I see, um, guesses the right score. So as soon as I get on Twitter at any point after my round, the first person I see who guesses the right score will win my Taylor My Made hat, Aero Burner. R15, which will soon change that new driver that they're bringing out if they're getting rid of that one. We don't worry. Taylor, my aid, guess my score. Post it on Twitter, and the first score I see 
you're all posting them there. There's no point posting them on there. Uh, but I mean, if you want a safe bet for posting my score, it's always best to post 59. He wins it. Crespo wins it. 59, yes, please. Um, the first person who gets his score, if you want a safe bet, just bet four over. That's generally what I will score. So yeah, if you want to win Taylor made, well, Taylor, my aid hat. Post the score on Sunday. We're playing Mega Match. Um, and um, yeah, first person to guess it wins. First person I see who guesses it wins. It's quite a loose competition. There we go, guys. Mega Match, Sunday. Um, I will keep you posted. You'll be able to see there are people who know where to look for the scores um, as well. Um, if you want to, but I'll do a video and hopefully get to talk a little bit with Steve and Kevin as well after their rounds, maybe even before. Uh, I will also post my score on Game Golf as soon as I've done it. So that'll be Sunday evening, possibly, subject to what time I finish and if I have to go back to a presentation. I've made a vow if I win, anyone on Twitter who's seen me, um, you will see what I'll do if I win is probably not the prettiest things. But yeah, um, follow the video. It will come via Game Stats. Thank you, Game Golf, for the lovely device. Um, and let's see, Kevin, me, or Buzzer, who will win? I think Kevin. But as long as I beat Buzzer, I'm very happy. I've already beaten Twitchard. He's not fit enough to play. So that's a loss. So Buzzer's beaten Twitchard as well. Kevin's the man. I could sneak Kevin on a good day, but I don't get many of them, and he's a pretty good player. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in to my live Mega Match preview. And in the bag, I will do more and hopefully connect with you in this live fashion a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Speak to you later.